Hey guys, it's Michael Roberts here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the top 5 effects in After Effects. Okay guys, to start off our first effect, what we're going to be doing is opening up After Effects. And next, as you can see, our um, our actual clip is loaded already. So what you want to do is just right click here. You can load your clip right now and you can click Effect. And then click Generate and then click Light Rays. Now this is pretty cool because you can position this in any way you want. You can pump up the intensity if you feel that's right. And you can just put the center to any place you want. So I'm just gonna go back to the beginning of my clip. Click on center and place that where the sun might be leaking out of. And as you can see that fits perfectly there. It looks so realistic because it actually has a leak right there. So what you wanna do is actually... um what i would say you do is animate this so you can just animate the center click on that little stopwatch there then go into your effects tab and then um open that up and you can move that playhead forward in time and you could probably move that off the screen i'm gonna say about here this should be upwards so i'm just gonna carry that up in the screen there we go so as you can see if I play this back now there we get a realistic sun ray okay guys so in this effect I'm going to show you how to create lightning using um, after effects so to select your video clip now after you do that you want to right click here and select effect and then you're going to go down and select obsolete and then select lightning as you can see, a whole set of menus came up here, and as you can see, the lightning flash appeared on our screen. So let's select this little anchor point to position the start point. I'm going to position that outside of the frame, and I'm going to take the end point and probably put it on the road here to make it um, hit the road so it can look a bit more realistic. And you can um, play around with these random seeds here. That's going to give a better effect. And you can put detail level. That's actually going to increase the detail of the lightning bolt. And there you go. You just created lightning using After Effects. Okay guys, so for our next um, effect, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be clicking on our video clip. Next, you want to click Effect and you're gonna click on simulation and you can select to rainfall now this is pretty cool because you can simulate rain using after effects so i'm just gonna play around with the drop and i'm gonna add some wind to make that realistic because obviously the wind might be blowing in this direction um if you don't know which direction the wind is blowing you can simply observe your video and see where um in the directional aspect of the um video um the wind is blowing and so you can actually add speed to this um scene depth that's gonna add um more depth and it's gonna look more realistic and you can just play that back and you will see for yourself there you go as you can see, you have a cool rain um, effect in After Effects. Okay guys, so in this um, effect, what we're going to be doing is creating an audio spectrum for a clip we are doing. So, um, what we're going to be doing is actually selecting any layer. I'm just going to duplicate a blank layer and put it over my video clip. I'm going to right click on that blank layer and click effect and click audio spectrum. Next, as you can see, it appeared here. You're going to, just going to animate the start point and end point. I'm going to animate it from here to, let's say, about here. And you're going to select the audio layer and you're going to put it to your music, whatever music you imported. And there you go. So I'm just going to increase the thickness and anything that I need to. I'm just going to um, actually animate the color here. Maybe make it green. Or I can put it red. That sounds a little better. 
and I'm just gonna put the display options to analog lines so that's gonna create a very cool effect so if I play this back there we go so as you can see we created a very very cool um, audio spectrum and if you do not like the analog lines you're gonna switch it back to digital All right, so there you go. That's it for creating a... Okay guys, so this is our final tutorial right here and I'm gonna show you how to replace a sky. In other words, it's called the sky replacement and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about replacing a sky in After Effects. So firstly, if you don't see your effects and presets tab, just go to window and select um, effects and presets. Next in the search bar, just click key. Um, you should be able to see color key under there. Drag that on your layer and select the um, paint tool and just um, increase the color tolerance so that most of it has been removed. Now, what you want to do right now is um, you, if you increase it too much, you can always go back and you can d um, duplicate that and use the paint tool again to do the same for the white areas. Now as you can see everything is removed. Now what you want to do is duplicate the video layer and delete the color keys from them and as you can see our clip went back to normal. Now select the pen tool and just easily mask out this area here and you can don't be afraid to go outside of the grid and there you go as you can see if it is still um, transparent you can easily just go back and try to do the same again and click the last point and there we go our sky has been completely removed now what I'm going to do is actually um, unselect all of these um, select back my selection tool and as you can see our sky is removed now how do we import a sky I have a sky on my desktop here I'm just going to drag that into after effects and put that um, actually under my layer so as you can see it actually gives a bit of error here and there we go so if you drag that to the last clip everything is good and as you can see our clip actually works guys if you think that it's a bit too subtle, you can easily just edge the feather so that you can make it more realistic. Great, and there we have it. Our clip is now um, working. So if you don't um, like the color correction, you can just easily add a lumetric color such as this to actually make this look totally realistic and we can just drag that on to our video clip and use the basic correction and I guess you can just increase the saturation I guess and you can um, actually change this up in any way you want so guys if you did enjoy this tutorial with the five um effects of after effects please leave a like and subscribe guys it really helps the channel grow and well bye guys